gentlemen happy good friday to each and every one of you as you see i have in my hand my jamaican cup and in my jamaican cup it's a cup of porridge mm. ladies and gentlemen before we started the show i show you three bottles these three bottles and a little container are the secret to my success. A lot of people was asking me the question, so Bixter, what do you use? What do you take? What do you do? Well, the formula is a secret, actually. It was blended by my herbalist, and I must say this as a disclaimer. I chose to go herbs instead of the conventional way of pharmaceutical medicine or the Western medication. And um, if you're diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer, I think you should consult your primary caregiver, your urologist, your hospital, and let them determine your way forward. And if you so agree, then it's all up to you. I so agree to use herb and as my way forward. Now, before I take any of these medications, I was advised by my herbalist to have something in my stomach, like a cup of porridge. Mm. It feels good to have a nice cup of porridge, whether it be barley, whether it be cornmeal porridge, whether it be oat. Um, I prefer my cornmeal porridge, so I'm actually having cornmeal porridge before I take my medication. Now I want to share this intimate part of my journey with you because I want you to know that there's nothing artificial, there's nothing superhuman about what I am doing. But first, I must tell you that it comes with a strong conviction to the Almighty God. You must believe in the Almighty God and the Almighty God chartering and channeling your way forward. I pray every day I get up and give thanks to the Almighty for another day because most people never get an opportunity to wake up. And even if they do get an opportunity to wake up, they're in bad, 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 bad shape. So I give thanks to the Almighty for getting up. And also, the will to live. I am 66 years old. I will be 67 on the 3rd of July. And trust me, the power to live is embedded in my DNA. I don't want to go anywhere. I still have a lot of work to do, a lot of things to do, and a lot of places to see. And I'm going to follow the instruction to the T so that I can live my life to the fullest potential and to do the work that I was testing by the Almighty God to do. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm having my cup of porridge. Mm. The key factor is to have something in your stomach when you break your fast in the morning. Now you see my first cup of porridge is that now. I got up at 2 o'clock this morning to make this porridge because I started my herbal treatment at 4 o'clock this morning. And my herbalist got serious. We discussed this last night with myself. And um, we said, um, listen, your PSA was 5.16. 
it went up just a little bit to 5.60. But really and truly, we want your PC to get down to 0. Point something because it is only when you get down to 0. Point something that you can actually slew the beast. You don't want to leave any room for grout. And as you know, cancer can be very vindictive. Once they know that you're playing around with them, they will find ways to divert from the treatment and then they will come back at you with more force than they ever came with before. But you see this treatment that you see in front of me? They cannot hide from this treatment. I'm telling you, this treatment was designed by the Almighty God. And the Almighty God is bigger than any cancer, bigger than any force, bigger than anything that is out there that is trying to consume your soul. And that is why I'm asking you as my friends to have that commitment with the Almighty. Seek and abide whoever you perceive him to be. If he's Allah, then be so it. If he's Jesus Christ, be so it. If he's, you know, Yahweh, be so it. But have a commitment with the Almighty God. I have a commitment in the one and true living God. Okay? Mm. I remember I don't use milk I just put a little honey in it just to t change the flavor a little bit so that the taste is nice and so on just a little honey well, let me tell you something this is mm. Mm, 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 mm. And like I said, I want to thank each and every one of you, you know, because I have a lot of people out there that, man, they're so good to me, you know what I mean? I don't want to go all over again calling names. I've called so many names, so I'm just going to put all of you together and say, boy, you're a bunch of great people. A bunch of great people who wake me up in the morning and make sure I go to bed at night. So I am grateful. You know what one fan told me? said, Big Stone, you know why you're surviving? Because you have the greatest, the greatest uh, support system ever. You know, people from Africa, people from South America, people from the United Kingdom, people from the USA, people from the Caribbean, my own Jamaican friends. The support system is immeasurable. And not to forget, the biggest family support system the world has ever seen my immediate family so i want to thank each and every one of you raise my cup to all of you because i could not have come thus far i know i've lost a lot of weight which i want to lose that weight too because i'm not eating the same usual garbage you saw what a little piece of chicken did went back up with my psc just a little bit and just one little piece of chicken anything that is abnormal that you're not supposed to put in your mouth can change the course of your history. Mm. Mm. Jamaica. Jamaica land we love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just finished my cup of porridge. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. And you know, my herbal treatment, I must take it every four hours. Now, I'm going to take a dose in front of you and show you what I, my ritual. If you notice, I have three eight hours bottle in front of me. So I'm going to be doing this for at least the next nine days, every four hours. So you know it's four o'clock in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning, 12 midday, four o'clock in the evening, 8 p.m. at night, 12 midnight, four o'clock in the morning, and so on and so forth. Not stop until this is finished because I intend this time that when I go back to biomedical and come back and report to you, I want my report to be feasible, not just for you guys, but for me. All right? I want to feel much better. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I used to have, 
excruciating pain in my hip. I couldn't sleep at night. I could lie on my left side, my right, my belly, my back. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't walk. The pain was so bad. All that pain is gone. I'm just left with soreness right now. In my knee, there's a little tingling thing going on. So I know there's a about a cancer latch there somewhere. And a little tingling tip might be going on in my hip as well. So I know there's a little piece of that fella lingering there. So I intend to get him out of my system completely. And my herbalist tell me that when he gets out, there's no way he can get back in. Your mind has to be at work. Your friends have to be at work. Your support system has to be at work. So it is eight o'clock. I'm gonna go for the one in the middle and I'm gonna go for my container. Look, you see where that mark is? Right there? That is where it stops. No more, no less. Bam. Herbs. So I'm gonna pour it. All the way to the mark. Make sure I cover this back up. And this is all herbs, natural herbs. Nothing else added into it. And if you look, you'll see where it's at the mark right there. And I just want to say happy Good Friday. This is towards my healing. Thank you so much for the support. And thank you for helping me to live a brand new life. Mmm. Ah. Right at the mark, nothing more. And that is my second treatment for the morning of March 29th. You remember yesterday I went to the lab and got the results and the results came back 5.60 and I was a little uncomfortable. But a lot of my friends, especially my friend uh, Scholar, he said, Big so what are you worried about? Mine was five plus, I'm up to 10. And I'm not worried that you was at 72.81 and you came down to 5. So why are you worried? I'm not worried really. I'm just enthused. I just want to get this over with because I have a lot of work to do. And this is hindering me. You know, so I just want to get rid of this guy, get on back to living my life. Which is not going to be business as usual. My life has been changed forever. And I hope to be a role model. I hope to be an advocate. I hope to speak out because I want brothers to know that pr prostate cancer can be avoided. Every man has a prostate. Every man, when you get to about 40, your prostate starts to grow. So it's up to you every six months or every year to go in and do a prostate examination. They call it the digital rectal examination. But some men are a little bit scared of that. They don't want no finger. So you can do an ultrasound. You can do a PSA test. You can go in and do an MRI test. There are many other tests that you can do to check on your prostate. And let me tell you, early detection saves life. I want to do this for my Jamaican brothers. I want to do this for my Caribbean brothers. I want to do this for my brothers in the UK, in the United States of America, and in Canada. Early detection saves life. Please, go get your prostate examined. Please, it's very important. A lot of people especially men because it affects only men but women you can get involved too and i'm not just speaking now about prostate cancer i'm talking about cancer of the cervix breast cancer and different types of cancer that affect women i know there's a lot of women in jamaica that don't want to go get tested either they don't like the way the coldness of the tests and so on and so forth you need a pap smear go get it go get it the time that you spend away in here and false eyelashes and this and nails and so on. Put those money to your health. Your health is your wealth. It's very important that you go out and get tested. See, I didn't go out and get early tested. And because I did not go out and get early tested, guess what happened to me? I ended up with stage four cancer that has spread. Luckily, I have great support system, great family, a great fan base, a platform that I can speak out on. And I get love from all over the world. But I'm a lucky me. You might not be so lucky. So early detection save life. This is my Jamaican cup. I am Jamaican 100%. I'm also African 100%. But guess what? 
this little piece of the rock belongs to me. Like that big continent belongs to me. And if there's anything that I can do to make the awareness level get to the sky, that is exactly what I'm doing. Thank you so much for listening. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet, subscribe to Big Stone Television. Now is the time to do so. Cheers. Why not even my little drop of the porridge left back? Oh, you greedy. Oh, you never get none. <laughs> I love you guys.